Hey folks, it's Tuesday once again, but we are going to skip Tooltip Tuesday again this week for a new product showcase. We're taking a look at a Snap-on gearless ratchet. Let's check it out. So in last week's Tooltip Tuesday, I talked about using fine tooth ratchets, something like this 88 tooth ratchet from Matco, the dual 80 ratchets from Snap-on. There's a range of ones, you can check that video out for a discussion about that. But I jumped on the Snap-on truck last week after that video had already gone up and I found the gearless ratchet, the toothless ratchet. Why be fine tooth when you can have no teeth? Sounds like the motto of a pirate to me, but we're gonna go ahead and check out this ratchet. Now gearless or toothless ratchets are not a new idea. They have been around for quite some time. Various companies have had them, but I almost always find they eventually discontinue them because they just don't hold up. They don't grip quite right. They're not strong enough or not long-term usable enough. Now Snap-on has had a gearless ratchet out for a little while now in 3 ace drive, but now May 2018, they've released the quarter inch drive. Now, if you ask me, quarter inch is the sweet spot for this product. It's gonna fit into tighter locations, get into those harder reach areas and have a really tight swing arc. Now they don't give a spec on the swing arc of this thing and I can understand that. It doesn't have teeth, they can't really quantify exactly how tight of an arc you're gonna get every time repeatedly. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open, take a look at it, and I'll let you know what I think about it. This isn't a full product review, it's just taking a look at a new product, but let's take a look what's going on inside of this thing. Disassembly on this quarter inch version is as simple as the T8 Torx in the middle. Go ahead and loosen that up, take that out of there. It was a lot easier to remove than I expected it was going to be. So upon disassembling this thing, I broke it down to its core components. At the heart of it, it is a Sprague design type ratchet. Calling this thing a ratchet does feel a little strange as there's no ratcheting mechanism. There's no teeth, there's no skipping, there's no telltale sounds in this thing. It's just spinning freely with the bearings in there, spinning around until you go the opposite direction as to what it's set up at, and then it'll lock in. Now there's a lot going on inside of here. You can see how this thing operates a little bit as I demonstrate it with the, the main plates out of it. So it's just the bearing and drive mechanism. The sprags lock to the outside body housing and to the drive mechanism and hold it in place. There's a lot of little pieces in there, but they all look to be pretty stout, pretty strong and standard fare for a quality ratchet. Now reassembly of this thing, was a little bit of a bear, but that should really not be a problem for anybody as an end user. That's the distributor's problem repairing the thing if and when they need to. So now the question comes down to what do I think of this T0 Snap-on ratchet? Well, it's made in America. It's four and a half inches long. It's a quarter inch drive design and it feels strange to use. There's no ratcheting. You don't know quite if you're doing what you think you should be doing because the telltale sound you're so used to after decades of using a ratchet aren't there. It's, it's just silent, it's quiet, it works. What I can definitely say is the head height on this thing is a little substantial. The round head design, the selector on the back, it's all pretty tall and pretty stout overall. I measured it with calipers and I compared it to my Matco quarter inch ratchet, which is my go-to quarter inch ratchet. With both of them using the same 10 millimeter gear wrench socket, which I will admit is a pretty tall socket actually. There are much shorter 10 millimeters on the market, but they both use the same socket here. So apples to apples testing here. The T0 gearless ratchet from Snap-on came in at 1.58 inch over one and a half inches tall from the end of the socket to the back of the ratchet. The Matco ratchet came in at 1.375 inch. That's over a 3 16 inch difference between these two ratchets in overall head height with the socket on there. That could be a big difference in a tight engine compartment. If you're in a tight underdash area, something like that, that 3 16 plus of an inch could really come in handy. So really, this thing could be really good in tight areas, but the head height's just not as shallow as I'd like it to be for a ratchet of this type. It's gonna have to be up to you whether the tight swing arc is worth it versus the head height of this thing. And I should mention this thing is made in the USA, has a lifetime warranty of course, and retails for $141.95, which is pretty expensive for a quarter inch ratchet. That Matco flex head ratchet that I compared it to with locking flex head mechanism, 88 tooth ratcheting mechanism, and six inch overall length, that thing is about the same price as this at $141.95. Definitely a neat product from the folks at Snap-on. A new product just hit the market. I thought you might like to see what was inside of it and a quick video about it. 
Thanks for watching the video, folks. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, go ahead and drop it a like. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the gearless ratchet? Do you have a gearless ratchet from somebody else that you like that you think I should check out? Do you have one that you hated and you don't want to use anymore? Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this every week. Thanks for coming around, folks.